Hello everyone, my name is Anis and I'm going to teach you the security in data processing as a part of the information search and processing. Uh, sorry for yesterday meeting, we were not able to make it because of technical problem, server was crashing and some students were not able to hear me and I was not able myself to record this video yesterday. I, I did solve the technical issue only late night so I am doing it now recording this video in this morning uh, it doesn't matter if um, you were not able to see this video yesterday I will add one day for you uh, to deliver the assignment one day late no problem in this video I will explain about the course and I will explain how you will um, work through the, uh, the, the, the presentation and the reading and the assignment. Let me go first to the in your page, you go to the week 24 as a part of the information search and processing. You will find all the document here. The virtual lecture, I will add this video here the assignment security in data processing I will explain it later I will this is example for the assignment you have two options there A and B the first document course overview hand out the basic information course overview otherwise uh, uh, this is exactly the same document but in, a po in PowerPoint presentation the first in PDF and the other one is just PowerPoint presentation so you can read these three documents to get an idea about the course starting the first lecture with introduction to information security followed by a reading document introduction to information security always you have to read this document do your best to read this document. The second lecture is information security frameworks, then readings, teaching information security policy and controls and safeguard. Then the cryptography, and you can read this what is important for InfoSec. There are also discussion, you can discuss in uh, the uh, forum. So if you download all the files you will have them here from one two three four added in this way that it makes easier for you to to read in order the document let's start with the course overview security and data processing so <coughs> In the first document, you will see the course description. Uh, first of all, I would like to let you know that this course is just an introduction to information security. It's very basic. Uh, I can see in the class there are people with strong IT background and there are people with business background. So I have to balance all the class, then, then you will have uh, just introduction, it's not really deep technically, and you don't have to have IT knowledge. Just follow the instruction, read carefully the document, and everything will be fine. So the, you find the objective here, learning outcome, teaching method, source so the topic will be covered and um, I will cover the fundamental principle of security what is uh, asset in a company what is hacking what is uh, what is vulnerability uh, risk assessment 
information security policy uh, yeah risk management concept security frameworks policy standard baseline guideline security policy and information classification and security education or training and awareness in the security architecture and design uh, we cover the critical component of every computer access control model fundamental concept of security models vulnerability and threats for data encryption and cryptography this is uh, it's, it can be challenging topic but uh, you just need to learn the very very basic of cryptography and data encryption like encryption concept what is the concept of encryption why do we need encryption what is the difference for example between encryption and uh, something else what is the digital signature what is the pka the public key infrastructure so this is the first document i will go to the basic the handout which is just similar but it's a powerpoint so it's a, a shorter version uh, security and data processing uh, here the course uh, description again and the course objectives learning outcome and here the source uh, my, my main source in this course is the certified information system security professional CISSP book uh, the sixth edition I'm using. Uh, you can find uh, partly this book online for free, or you could find the full book of the previous version. If you find the fifth or the fourth, it's very fine, like uh, uh, nothing much changed. And you don't have to read this book, basically, you don't have, but this is my source for the course. Uh, my PowerPoint presentation. The ISO IEC 2005 uh, uh, version. Now there is a newer one, with the, which is 2013. Um, um, I am familiar more with this version. That's why I didn't use the last one. I need to study it more deeper. It just came uh, this year, a few months ago. Uh, the finance minister uh, of Finland, they are responsible for data protection. And of course, a lot of people. That's what you need to pass this course. Uh, here are my contact. As you see, my name is Anis Ben Otman. You can call me Ben or Anis. Both works for me. My email Anis dot Ben at gmail dot com. My Skype is Alfred uh, underscore like Nobel. Uh, my phone zero four four fifty forty thirty eight. Uh, currently, I am on holiday. I am abroad, so I, I cannot. Uh, receive calls. I'm not going to answer any call, but I will be answering all your email. If you have a question, please write me email or post it in the forum. Now I will go to next document. Yes, uh, security data processing again. Here. I'm going to you can read about what is information security governance and risk management information system access control the identification authentication authorization accountability in the next document there will be introduction So uh, basically, uh, the first question I would like to ask to the student, uh, what is security? Is it a technology or a business issue? Is the security problem for the business or it's problem for the IT guys or for, for the technology? So think of it and I will show you in the every document, there will be some question you need to answer that. So you will, you will go through these documents, you read some uh, picture. Uh, you, will, you will read more about what is information security, uh, what is CEA. And let me find one document. 
One second, I'll pause here. So, the next document, <coughs> reading. Uh, please try to read this document. Uh, I see it's uh, many pages, but this is really the minimum document what you need to read in order to have an overview of what is uh, information security about. It will cover the basic uh, concept and keywords like what is availability, what is authenticity, confidentiality. Yeah, this document you need to read it all. And it's not, it's not really very technical document. Uh, business people, they can read it. People with, with uh, less IT knowledge, uh, they will be fine with this document because it is meant for the um, professional uh, people who are working in a company, not with security people. If I go back to the introduction to information security, let me close this all. By the end of the document, you will have video to watch. I select this video and this video I always give to the student. Right, yes, let open here. Here you have internet one video free. about we use it daily to read blogs. The inter basic principle of computer security. They are the interesting video and uh, I advise you to watch them carefully. You will learn more about what is information security about. The second video is here. And in the end you will have a question. Explain the difference. First question explain the difference between a vulnerability, a risk, and a threat. You cannot answer this if you don't read the document if, and if you don't go through all uh, the material what I gave. So, if you are to start a job in a company, what are the challenges you should be aware in terms of information security? Like, for example, um, uh, the existing vulnerabilities, uh, what are the like spying, uh, copying, um, hackers, something like that. You need to describe and write uh, a proper answer. Why security is an issue in data processing? Why data is compromised while processed or stored? Are you aware of any data breach accident? From the news, for example, lately, let's say, uh, the most famous one was 2011, uh, the hack of Sony, which cost the company 170 million. So that's why it was my question, is security a business or IT pro uh, problem? Yeah, here the question is security is a technology or a business issue. You need to, to write and have your own view of this question. Please post your answer in the Moodle. You'll get for each question answered one point. Uh, there are no right or wrong answer. I, I will see if you, put, if you put effort or you didn't put effort. That's what I care more. Next document. Uh, this I showed the reading and information security frameworks. You need to go through the PDCA, which is Plan, Do, Check, Act cycle. Uh, what is InfoSec policy? Why we need policy? What is a policy? Uh, the security frameworks, mainly the ISO 27000, the series standard. And you can have a, a, a very well detailed 
information in ISO27001security.com. This is the best source for the ISO standard. Here you can read every single standard. It's up to you how much you want to read about it. Uh, if you are curious, you can read as much as you want. But basically, you need to have a look on this formal ISMS specification, ISO 27001 standard. This is you really you need to read this document at least. Okay, I close. The next document, what is important for information security, a manager guide. Why this a manager guide, why this document is important for me, because uh, if you are a manager in a business, you really need to know a bit of uh, basic information security. Here it will cover uh, what is safe hex, what are the policy, training awareness. It's not a big document, only four pages. The next document, <coughs> sorry, the assignment. So this is the main document here. Assignment, write, write an information security policy for your group. You can use this model to generate your own version or you can simply google in the web information security policy template the grade is fail pass for this one but uh, with the question together you will have grade of one till five so the grade here it should be sorry it should be is one scale one to five the deadline end of the week 25 okay plus one day please make sure you deliver the assignment in time because uh, I'm strict with the deadline Okay. Wait. Yes. The assignment um okay. So I took the um the example from here straight away but uh, here is a full assignment description. So the purpose of the task is to learn about security and data processing by adopting an information security policy as a measure to protect the confidentiality, integrity and availability of organizations assets as well as any information system that store, process or transmit any type of data. So your first innovation school company project as example, for example, you have a project, you have the data you have uh, written some document these are considered as asset how do you how do you protect this document how you process protect this asset while processing it or while developing it or building it the assignment has a and b option you would like to choose a or b so the a if you are participating the whole force innovation school B if you are participating only theme the A after reading the course material write an information security policy for your FUAS innovation school company you can use this model to generate your own version so the, the I attached this document or you, you could simply copy paste it go to the internet and get this uh, general policy document I could download it here so this is a simple information security policy the policy of the company XYZ 
and you can go through it you can edit add more details or take away some details you have to adjust it according to your uh, project or you could simply google in the web information security policy template and you will get a lot a lot of document project group can make the task together but each member of the team has to return the task to return for the individually the second option b option make online research about information security policy and write a report where you explain what an information security policy of a company should cover suppose supported with explanation and example again the project group can make the task together but each member of the team has to return the task in return folder here you upload your file and you submit it after that there is a reading teaching information security policy and controls and safeguard it's eight page have a look a quick reading for this one it's important document and controls and safeguard this is uh, chapter 3 from the CISSP book but old version uh, 46 page yes but it's not it's not difficult document it's like not very uh, tough document to read so please try to read it all the last lecture is about cryptography and crypto systems you can have the you can read what is cryptography the cryptographic standard some explanation here about how it works this example from the book everyone is using online so you can find them in every CISSP presentation what is what is a key what is the difference between symmetric and asymmetric key what is public and private key type of encryption standard LSA uh, Diffie Hellman always with some example uh, I know it might be it might be a bit difficult for non IT people but I am not requiring you um, to know much just have a, an idea because even if you will be working uh, in a business only uh, you will need to know what is a private key what is a public key because you you might have your own private key to use and uh, you might have your own key to sign a digital document or to send the email or to send encrypted email uh, always uh, in the end of each document there are always video to watch I select them carefully so please watch them and a question please remember the grade of this course is from 1 to 5 uh, answering the question will help me or will help you to get a better grade so this course for assessing this course you need to have the assignment the main one the information security policy and the question of each lecture for each lecture there will be question you need to answer them all okay if you want to have five out of five you need to pay uh, care attention of this question and the assignment as I said, uh, my philosophy, there is no right or wrong person. There is someone who put effort and someone who, do, who doesn't put effort. So please put effort and I will be helping you 
If you have any question, I will be answering. And good luck for this course. Thank you for watching this video, and I will upload this video maybe to YouTube because this is the easiest way for people to watch. Thank you. Bye bye.